what actually turns the water on and off to your sprinkler lines? It's the sprinkler valve. In this video, I'm going to show you what they look like and how they operate. Anatomy 101 of a sprinkler system, lesson three, the sprinkler valve. Stick around to the end of this short video to get your free download to help you identify what kind of sprinkler valves you have on your properties and how to operate them. Each sprinkler valve is different. The sprinkler valve is the item that actually turns the water on and off to each sprinkler line or zone. Nowadays they are usually electric valves, commonly known as automatic valves, as they're wired to a sprinkler system controller or timer. We'll call them timers from now on. Most sprinkler valves in our area here on the beautiful central coast of California are of the type called anti-siphon valves because of their functional design that prohibits the possibly contaminated sprinkler system water from backflowing into your drinking water. The proper height for anti-siphon valves is 6 to 12 inches above grade, above the ground. For them to work properly, it's actually 12 to 18 inches above the highest sprinkler when activated, but we'll get into that in an advanced video. The other type of sprinkler valves are commonly called inline valves. These are properly installed below grade or below ground, encased in a PVC valve box. If you have inline valves, you should have a backflow device upstream from the sprinkler valves to keep the potentially ucky water from backing into your house water. Inline valves installed above grade do not accomplish the same effect as anti-siphon valves. I go more into detail about backflow devices in the previous video, which is lesson two, sprinkler system shutoff valve. A number of years ago, I rebuilt a set of anti-siphon sprinkler valves called a valve manifold, or manifold for short, that had been installed below grade and tilted at an angle. It was no surprise that the two lowest valves in that set wouldn't shut off automatically when they were supposed to. If you do have sprinkler lines with sprinklers higher than the anti-siphon sprinkler valves, there are remedies that you can ask me about in the comments below. Michael McClary said, irrigation of the land with seawater desalinated by fusion power is ancient. It's called rain. <laughs> Most electric sprinkler valves can be activated manually by a bleed screw or by turning the solenoid about a quarter of a turn counterclockwise. This is helpful if the timer is giving you trouble and you need to water your landscape. The solenoid is the normally cylindrical device that has two wires growing out of it. Watertight wire nuts should be used on the wire connections to avoid eventual corrosion. Watertight wire nuts have gel in them to help keep moisture out. I'm going to show you how to turn these valves on manually. This one's a rainbird and you just grab the handle on top of the solenoid and give it a quarter turn and off. This one's the Ear Troll. It also goes by the name Lawn Genie at the home centers. You see the on and off label here. It shows you which way to turn it. You just grab that handle and give it a quarter of a turn on. And this one here's the Hunter and it's a bit different. It does not have a handle for the solenoid but as you can see on the label on top of the solenoid you just give it a quarter of a turn and that's it. These are the three main anti-siphon valves that you'll find on most properties. You've got the Rainbird, the Ear Troll, and the Hunter. All three of these sprinkler valves can be turned on manually using this external bleed screw. It's not recommended, but you just turn it about half of a turn, and that's it, and that's back off. If you have trouble turning it with your fingers, you can always use a Phillips head screwdriver on the ear troll, but you cannot use it on the other two valves. But you can always use a pair of pliers if you need to. Now you see how to turn these on manually on and off.
at the valves. In summary, a sprinkler valve is what opens and closes the water flow to each sprinkler line or zone, and a set of sprinkler valves grouped together, whether above grade or below, is called a valve manifold, or manifold for short. You learn how to turn them on manually. In the next video, I'll show you how to turn them on from the sprinkler timer. Hey, I just happen to have a free download that can help you with this. This is the one I told you about at the beginning of the video. This download has photos of most of the common sprinkler valves so you can identify which ones you have and handy tips about them. Just click here or down below to claim it and begin making your life a lot easier. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, please like it, share it, and subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with all these helpful videos and downloads. Make sure you click, the, uh, click on the bell so that you can get uh, notices whenever new videos come out. If you missed the previous videos in this fun series, click here. Click here for the next fun installment in the Anatomy 101 of a Sprinkler System series called Lesson 4, the Sprinkler System Controller, where I teach you what exactly a sprinkler timer really is, where it is, how to operate it, and some how-tos that you need to know along with a new free download I'll include.